Mr Kerr was a regular visitor to the Camerick Bar here right in the very business centre of Armagh City. For the last seven years he'd run a discotheque that he called the One Step Beyond Roadshow. He came here with it at least once a week and it was very popular with young people from Armagh. But from the way the killing took place last night it's clear that Mr Kerr was a carefully selected victim. It was after one o'clock this morning and the bar was closed, though there were a few people still around. Mr Kerr had made several trips up the road to a car park, carrying equipment back to his van, which was parked outside the security barriers. He returned to the bar one final time. As he was inside, a gunman wearing a balaclava helmet burst in, singled Mr Kerr out and shot him once in the head with a semi-automatic pistol. Mr Kerr died instantly. No, I can't because because everybody liked him. I think it's right, isn't it? He lived for his music and he didn't belong to anything. He didn't condone anything that was done by either side. But uh, I suppose he was an optimist. He just maybe believed in the basic good of the people. He played to mixed audiences. Did he have friends who were Catholics as well as Protestant? Yes, he did. A few minutes before it happened, I was sitting talking to a group of guys who were all Catholics and we were sort of discussing the situation. They weren't any happier about it than I was. and. They were totally unbigoted, and I sort of was said to them, I hope you stick to that, and uh, perhaps when there are people like that, there is hope for this country. You were talking about that just before he was shot? Yes. Can you tell us briefly what happened? You were sitting beside him. I was, um, it, he'd taken all his stuff out and a couple of these guys who were Catholic had helped him to do so because he didn't have usual guys with him. And then he came back and and we just sort of we were all packed up but everybody was sort of finishing their drinks and and we wanted him to have a drink. I mean he would only have a soda of water because he had to dry and he came and sat beside me, and and then I saw this guy walk him, and he was wearing a mask. But I thought it was some of the barmen or something just pulling a stunt, and, and I heard something, and and he fell, and I thought he was just kidding too. And till I looked down, and and I saw him lying in his his own blood and then uh, I sort of saw the guy leave and then the other uh, barman sort of took me away from that area they wouldn't wouldn't let me touch him or see him because I guess they knew or else I didn't really understand what had happened. Mm -hmm.